Well, thank the Lord it's Friday once again, and it's the first Friday of March. Uh, time is rolling on, isn't it? Well, the last time we were together, we were standing out in the pasture with the goats, right? Uh, you uh, heard them uh, speaking to you. Well, I thought I'd bring them to church. Uh, one of our church members decided we, we needed some goats in the church, so uh, brought three of them. This a nanny looks like she's uh, just ready any day now, and here's a, a aunt nanny, and here's a mama nanny with a kid on her back. That's the way little goats do. They just climb all over the place having fun. Uh, I got a lot of comments from you about the goats last week, so I um, thought maybe I would uh, just bring them and let them be a part of this week's too. Also, last week I was uh, the videoing from the um, from the shop, you know, doing those candle holders. Well, here they are, and look at here. It's a good, uh, it's a good tight fit. Uh, fits well. Won't have to worry about those falling out or flopping over, will you? Good deal. Sure had fun doing that. Well, I, I've got some opportunities for you this week, this first full week of March. Uh, coming up, uh, a four-week-long study of praying for people who, people whom you love, but people who do not know the Lord. Uh, this starts on Monday, March the 8th at 1.30 over in Fellowship Hall here at the Sun City Campus. A four-week long, you know, once a week, uh, 1.30 on Mondays uh, for help, helping us learn how best to pray for people who don't know the Lord. Uh, uh, and I think you need to register for that. So go uh, call and uh, make sure you register for that. Also, uh, just a reminder that the Lent devotions are available to you. They're available on the website. You can download it or come by the church and pick one up. Uh, and notice, too, no, it's not too late to get involved because um, the first few devotions are a, a weekly devotion, and then it goes into daily devotion as we get closer to uh, Easter. So be sure and pick one of those up and uh, work, work on that. I see uh, Lent devotion, starting point. Somebody told me that last week on this video, I told you that starting point was on Tuesday. I lied. It's on Monday. Uh, Monday's at 1 o'clock. So uh, if you're interested in becoming a member, official member of our church family, then you'll want to make contact with us and get involved in that starting point class. Uh, my sincere apologies for lying to you, but that's, that's just how it goes. Uh, we've closed the books on February. February is gone, and a lot of us are thankful for it. Uh, those of you who enjoyed shoveling the snow, uh, maybe you'll get another chance in about 50 years. But we've closed the books on February, and I need to report to you that our giving, our giving, the church is receiving, uh, is down significantly. In fact, the report says that 18% uh, less than this time last year. Um, so I'll go back to my old saying, just saying it's it's down. So if if uh, if that if the Lord speaks to you and you want to help make up some of that, uh, it's greatly appreciated. N know for sure that our uh, staff and board we all make sure that we don't spend what we don't have. So uh, we cut back uh, according to the gifts to the church. Uh, let's see. I want to tell you about uh, what's coming up um, uh, next week. Um, uh, I'm going to try to participate in the blood drive over at Baylor Scott and White at Sun City Office there clinic this, this week on Monday. Uh, personnel committee is going to meet on Monday. And also this Monday we have visitors coming into town. Jerson and Betty Valsine, our missionaries in Haiti, will be with us in the late afternoon. Um, look forward to visiting with them. Haven't seen them in a good while. On Tuesday morning I'll be at the mayor's prayer breakfast. And um, that's enjoy a, a time of praying and fellowshipping with those guys. The finance committee and staff um, meeting also on Tuesday. And Tuesday will be March the 9th. That's a special day at the worship place because on March the 9th, 1998, no, excuse me, March the 9th, 2003, was the first uh, worship service here in the sanctuary. So we're Coming along, a lot of years. Uh, I, I can remember that because March the 9th, 1980, was the day I walked down the aisle of the church and told my church family, uh, a, a small little church in Simpson County, Mississippi, that the Lord was calling me into some sort of ministry, and uh, they prayed for me and nurtured me through that, and here I am all these years later. March the 9th, good day. 
Um, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we, uh, Brother Maury's doing the video recording today because John had uh, an emergency to run help with. But um, uh, Maury and uh, I and uh, Jim and Paul, uh, we're recording Easter music. The Few Good Men are recording Easter music on Wednesday. And then, of course, we'll have the Wednesday morning Bible study over at Rocky Hollow. Thursday, missions committee and something new. Something new we started just this year is that uh, we're we're uh, having a meeting with all the standing committee chairs uh, and the board. So that that's a important thing. Trying to get everybody on the same sheet of music. Friday, um, another memorial service, well, a graveside service for our brother Steve Ellis, who went home to be with the Lord. If those of you who didn't know Steve, such a wonderful prince of a fellow. He was the guy who. Um, who helped us? Well, he did the organization and and uh, you know carrying out the the golf tournaments that we've had in the past. Prince of a fellow, good friend, always very encouraging and supportive. Uh, Saturday, um, this both tomorrow Saturday and next Saturday, I'll be over at Lake Somerville. That's I, I'm told that's over toward Texas A&M. So uh, I, I've got to go figure out where that is. Um, and last of all, I, I, talking about these goats. I learned that GOAT uh, stands for something else. The word GOAT stands for the greatest of all time. I didn't know that until I think it was the Super Bowl when, where I first heard that. And, and do you know who the greatest of all time is? His name is Jesus. That's right. He's the greatest of all time. I hope that you know him well and that you're getting to know him better. And if you don't, well, come join us in a Bible study and prayer time and get to know him uh, this Sunday, it'll be the first Sunday of March, and so we're having communion. If you're worshiping at home, God bless you, and be sure and get your soda crackers and Welch's grape juice and get ready for communion, and we will celebrate the Lord's presence. We'll remember him, remember his sacrifice and all that he's done for us and continues to do every day. Well, uh, like I said, um, been a good week and going to be a busy week uh, coming next week, too. A lot of good things happening. So... Uh, I think, oh, 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 I wanted to tell you, uh, someone asked, well, Pastor, what, what's going to happen when you're on sabbatical in April and May? Well, we, we've got a great team, Pastor Maury and, and uh, all the team. They, uh, Pastor Terry will be preaching more. So uh, but everything will be taken care of just fine. So uh, don't, don't worry about any of that. Um, know that uh, I'll be spending time uh, studying and praying and um, figuring out what, what to do next. So pray for me as I pray for you. Let me pray for you now, and I'll look forward to seeing you Sunday morning with a smile. Father God, thank you for uh, the goat, the greatest of all time, your son, our Savior. He is Jesus Christ the Lord, and he lives in our hearts even now and gives us joy unspeakable. Lord, we're filled with your glory, and we thank you for that. Father, thank you for every member of our family and for those who are yet to come to be a part of our family. Uh, we pray, Lord, for every member, every person who comes to be a part of worship with us, Lord. We pray that when we come together, that we're one in spirit, and that you hear our voices united to lift your name in praise. And we pray, Lord, that as we come together and worship, and as we're out there uh, accomplishing the mission you've given us in the world every day, Lord, we pray again for the filling of your spirit that, we've, that we might recognize those who are hurting and need, and especially, Lord, those who are walking far from you, and invite them to come and meet Jesus, uh, the, whom we've met too, and uh, that they might know the, the joy of life everlasting all oh, the mercy and grace that you pour out on us, the forgiveness of our sins, the hope that we have of, uh, of our time with you in heaven for, e for eternity. Thank you, Father, for that joy that we have. Uh, Father, we pray, too, for those who are uh, hurting, in pain, struggling, uh, having a hard time right now. Lord, I know of uh, recent surgeries and some folks that are sick. And um, Lord, I don't know of anybody right now that has the COVID virus, but Lord, we pray that we can all uh, get vaccinated or whatever we need to do and get beyond um, the COVID and get back to worshiping like we used to. And Lord, we sure have learned to appreciate being together as a family. Lord, thank you for all your good blessings that you just keep pouring out on us, for all the friendships that we enjoy. Uh, thank you again for, for loving us 
in such a powerful way uh, and giving us love for one another. We, we offer it in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, and I forgot to say one other thing. I know the governor has said, you know, uh, no more mask mandate um, and, and business can, can open 100%. Uh, we will continue wearing our mask here at church for, for a while longer. So, so uh, when you come Sunday or, or to meetings or whatever, bring your mask and uh, be sure and um, mask up whether you've had the vaccination or not. I've had my, my first one last Thursday, a week ago, Thursday, and uh, uh, looking forward to getting the other one. But I'm still going to wear my mask to keep you and me safe for quite a while yet. God is good all the time. Praise the Lord. It's Friday, but Sunday's coming. Love you. See you next time. Bye.